The other day, I sat down with a successful SolidWorks freelancer and discussed what it takes to be successful as a SolidWorks freelancer on Fiverr. Let's review what answers they gave me, some of the methods they use to get success. And on top of that, I'm going to have a free Making Money with SolidWorks guide. Link in the description. Be sure to get it. On Patreon, I'm going to be posting SolidWorks job opportunities that are super hot. So become a Patreon member today. That said, let's get into the video. In this first interview that I conducted with a very successful SolidWorks freelancer on Fiverr, we gained some insight really on how to take the steps when you're first starting out from scratch on a freelancing platform, how to really stand out initially from everyone else since you don't have prior ratings or experience to lean on it can be very difficult. Another methodology we covered with freelancing on Fiverr is how to stand out from a crowded SolidWorks space of other freelancers doing the same thing or trying to do similar things. What things you can do to enhance your profile to climb the rankings. Let's get started. He started the interview by giving me just the general approach and background behind Fiverr. And he started off by saying, for every business, you have to be patient, give it time. Freelancing is no different. It's very demanding in terms of patience and persistence like any other business. If you're looking to freelance in SolidWorks, you need to understand that the Fiverr market is already very saturated, overflowing with gigs in SolidWorks. If you want to succeed, you must do something and offer something that is new, catchy, different, etc. Next, I asked him some secrets and tips to freelancers out there in SolidWorks when first starting out on a platform like Fiverr. He said, when I started, I focused on animation and motion studies. <coughs> on Fiverr, most clients are the people who are looking for someone who can bring their ideas to life. For them, dimensional accuracy or standards are not as important. They want something that they can sell and present to their clients. Animation does this job very well. It's catchy. It gets people's attention. It's easy to understand for someone that's not technical. Not everyone is an engineer and they just want the simplest explanation that they can get for their, under, for their idea. So what he means is on Fiverr, you're dealing with a lot of amateurs, not in a bad way, but just people who are not in the engineering or SolidWorks world that want to easily understand how you can bring their idea to life. And one way to stand out when starting is having animations, for example, if you offer simulation services, having um, a presentation of showing how the part is going to react, animating the forces and the loads, etc. Climbing the ranks on Fiverr. So in Fiverr, obviously there is competition. You want your profile to be on the front page, highly ranked and so that the algorithm promotes your profile. We talked about that a little bit. To rank your profile better, you have to do <coughs> a lot of trials and errors, starting with something you're interested in, then finding the things that others might be interested in and finding a common ground. So it can't be just something that you're interested in. People have to have a want and need for it. Make a gig and monitor how many views you get. So you might have to test some different ideas out. Do more research. Keep an eye on other top competitors in your category. See what they're doing. See if you can do it better. They'll show you what is in demand these days. Adjust your profile and keywords to try to match the ones at the top. So that's really interesting. You want to be analyzing the playing field of other competitors. See what is working for them and kind of mimic that, but also make that better, make it your own, something that you're interested in. 
Next, we talked about how your profile can stand out on Fiverr as you get better at it. So he said, first thing any buyer sees, the first thing they see it in your profile is the picture on your gig. So the little thumbnail image that you, you know, attach to your one solid work service work on making that realistic. So working on making your SolidWorks renderings look real is a great way to stand out. The Fiverr market is very saturated and competition is tough. So you have to prepare your portfolio accordingly and professionally. My first gig had rendered pictures of the projects I did during class. What set my gig apart was the models were rendered and looked more realistic and presentable. So that's an interesting point, just making your portfolio of SolidWorks designs look professional and realistic to stand out. Setting prices in different tiers for your SolidWorks services on Fiverr. So price tiers you make as you do projects, he said. You can always start from low price and build it as you get more experience in reviews in description, try to show off your skills, add keywords like surface modeling or sheet metal. Often clients are looking for a specific feature. If your description has that keyword, your chances of getting hired increases. So SEO search engine optimization using keywords that clients may be looking for is one way to enhance the description of your services that you are presenting to people on Fiverr, pay attention to that and start low as you're starting out to get some gigs. As you get reviews, you can always increase those prices as your demand grows. I left the interview with asking him one simple question. What was one thing that you know now that you wish you knew when you were starting on Fiverr? And his response was simply be persistent. Some clients need motivation to place an order, check back with clients, even if they have not placed an order. Freelancing has great potential. Give it all you got. So this is where the patience and persistence comes in with maybe someone is not interested initially, but if you follow, follow up with them and be persistent, you can recapture their interest and eventually close an order. Very helpful, powerful advice from a successful freelancer on Fiverr. Really excited to keep doing these interviews um, so that you can make money using your SolidWorks skills if you want to. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Again, I have a link in the description free guide on making money with SolidWorks. Make sure you check it out on my Patreon. I've got exclusive content as well as job postings that you may be interested in SolidWorks. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video.